Uranus is regarded as the odd one among our neighboring planets. Its abnormalities are all a bit strange, mysterious, or inexplicable. Despite having so many interesting facts and puzzles to offer, Uranus is the least studied planet in our solar system so far. We are leaving Earth, the only home we know, to travel to the farthest regions of the cosmos. If you enjoy our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for the videos that will be coming in the future. Let's begin our journey through the expanses of the universe. Uranus, a gas and ice giant. Uranus, viewed from the Sun, holds the seventh place in our solar system. Its orbit is between Saturn and Neptune. This makes it one of the outer planets, which are all gas or ice giants. The inner planets enclose Mars. Thereafter, the world of the planetary giants begins as an asteroid belt. The volume of Uranus is 65 times that of Earth. Therefore, it is the third largest planet in our solar system after Jupiter and Saturn. Its composition and color are indeed comparable to the neighboring Neptune, yet it is unique because of its many exceptional occurrences. The inner planets up to Saturn were known to the first astronomers of pre-Christian times. They could be easily seen with the naked eye or with crude telescopes. Uranus became the first planet to come into the focus of astronomers after the telescope was invented. It first came to the attention of the Royal English Court astronomer John Flamsteed in 1690. Flamsteed, however, considered Uranus to be a much more distant star in the constellation of Taurus. Only Sir William Herschel discovered Uranus in 1781 as a near-Earth planet lacking its own luminosity. Herschel intended to name the new heavenly body George Star in honor of the English regent King George III. Astronomers outside England strongly objected to the naming. Finally, the stargazers came to an agreement and again selected a name that made reference to the ancient world of gods. Simultaneously, with the discovery of Uranus, people all over Europe increasingly revolted against the decadent rule of the aristocracy and against unfair conditions of life for the poorer classes of the population. Among the most famous of these upheavals was the French Revolution from 1789 to 1799, which today is considered the beginning of the modern era. The Greek amongst Romans. Indeed, Uranus is the only planet in our solar system to carry a name from the Greek world of gods. Our planets are designated after deities of the Roman ancient mythology. Though there are resemblances between the divinities of both empires, there is no Roman counterpart to the Greek Uranus. Under the ancient Greeks, Uranus was regarded as the embodiment of the heavenly sphere as such. Uranus was the father of Kronos, or Saturn for the Romans, as well as the grandfather of Zeus, or Jupiter. The mother of the heavenly god Uranus was our home planet Earth, or Gaia. Uranus is said to have brought the male principle to Earth. In mythology, however, his own son Kronos emasculated and disempowered him. Numerous moons. All the giant planets within our solar system cluster an unusually large number of moons around them. A total of 27 Uranus moons are known so far, and new moons are constantly being added. Some of them are tiny and only 10 kilometers in diameter. Others have diameters of 1600 kilometers and more. However, if you add up the mass of all the moons of Uranus, their overall mass is still below that of Neptune's largest moon, Triton. Uranus's main moons are Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Oberon, and Titania. Every moon of the ice giant is designated after figures from the works of the great poet William Shakespeare. They carry such illustrious names as Cordelia, Ophelia, Puck, Caliban, Rosalind, or even Juliet. To this day, researchers still do not know why the axis of rotation of Uranus is tilted by 97 degrees from the axis of its orbit. It is suspected that it was the impact of a gigantic celestial body that in ancient times catapulted the god of heaven into this tilted position. Due to the extraordinary shift of the axis, Uranus's poles are subjected to night and winter for a whole 21 years. No sunlight or heat can reach the polar caps during this time. If the season changes, it will be bright, summer, and unusually hot for 21 years because the sun is directly above the poles. 
Uranus has a delicate and colorful ring system. The elliptical rings of Saturn are actually the most famous planetary rings. However, the rings of Uranus are also worth mentioning. They are mostly composed of dust, coarse particles, as well as a few larger chunks of up to 10 meters in diameter. In 1986, the space probe Voyager 2 crossed Uranus and reproduced the ring system as a very delicate, light pastel color to a dark play of colors. The rings of Uranus were probably not created together with the planet, but at a much later date. The reason could have been a collision of the moons of Uranus. At present, 13 different rings are known, the brightest of which is in 11th position and called Epsilon, visible to the naked eye. Indeed, Uranus is visible from Earth even without a telescope. However, the conditions must be favorable for this. If no artificial light sources are disturbing, and the exact position is known, amateur astronomers will recognize Uranus as a faint and sometimes slightly greenish glimmer in the night sky. It is likely that early peoples observed the planet, although they did not attach much importance to it because of the weakness of the light. In the history of space exploration to date, only one single exploration mission has ever come close to Uranus. On January 24, 1986, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft came close to the mysterious ice giant. It was launched on August 20, 1977 at the U.S. rocket base Cape Canaveral to explore the outer planets. Nine years later, the vehicle, measuring only a few meters in width, came within 81,000 kilometers of the cloud surface of Uranus. For the very first time, people on Earth could see the colors and weather conditions of Uranus. In addition to the photographs of Uranus itself, many of the new moons were discovered by Voyager 2 and photographed for the first time. By the way, the probe is still underway. In 2018, it passed the end of our solar system and is currently flying through interstellar space with an unknown destination. Uranus's atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, helium, and methane. In the uppermost part of the atmosphere, there is a thin layer of methane. The methane layer absorbs all warm and long-wave red light frequencies emitted by the sun and reaching the planet. At the same time, it reflects the short-wave blue light. The result of this effect is the uniform blue and beautiful aquamarine coloration of Uranus. Temperatures in the upper stratosphere can be incredibly hot, ranging from 525 to 580 degrees. In the inner layers, the light filtering causes a drastic drop in temperature. Average temperatures in the deeper layers are negative 224 degrees. Uranus is therefore the coldest planet in our solar system. In the icy cold regions of Uranus, gigantic storms rage with speeds up to 700 kilometers per hour. Besides, like all gas giants, Uranus has no solid surface. Scientists re-evaluated the data material a whole 34 years after the visit of the Voyager space probe. They found a tiny anomaly in Uranus's magnetic field. In the middle of 45 hours of regular recording, there was an interruption lasting only 60 seconds. During this short period, the data suddenly zigzagged back and forth and closer examination concluded that the planet had formed a plasmoid. Plasmoids are enormous bubbles that are stripped from the planet's magnetic field and then spat out into space. The plasmoid field remains linked to the main magnetic fields and drifts as a tail in space. In the case of Uranus, the field must have been a loop-shaped structure measuring 200,000 by 400,000 kilometers. For a gas and ice giant, such structures are very unusual. Plasmoids are known to scientists to exist only on the smaller and denser inner planets. They are being detached from the main field by solar storms. With its mean density of 1.27 grams per cubic centimeter, Uranus has the second lowest density of the planets in our solar system. Only Saturn, at an average density of 0.687 grams per cubic centimeter, is more fluffy than Uranus. For comparison, earthly water has a density of just 1 gram per cubic centimeter. This is not unusual for a gas giant. However, Uranus has another special feature in store. In terms of mass, this oddball is 14.5 times as massive as our Earth, and therefore the fourth most massive planet in our solar system. Simultaneously, it is one of the least dense, which is related to the unique composition of the planet's gases and structures. If we could jump on the cloud peaks of Uranus, we would only feel 0.9 times our weight on Earth. Uranus needs 30,708 days to orbit around the Sun. 
This is equivalent to 84 Earth years. Because of its skewed position and fast rotational speed, a day of Uranus takes only about 17 Earth hours. The average orbital speed is 6.81 kilometers per second. Our Earth travels at a full 29.78 kilometers per second. Whereas one can barely argue about the pronunciation of its name in the German-speaking world, a rather piquant Uranus peculiarity can be found in the American-English-speaking world. Uranus was there pronounced like Uranus. In order to prevent this little language faux pas, specialists have now switched to a new pronunciation. It is debated whether the new pronunciation, Uranus, really makes for an improvement. Uranus stays out of the ordinary together with Venus. When viewed from Polaris, all the planets in our solar system orbit the Sun in an anti-clockwise direction. All but two of them rotate simultaneously counterclockwise around their own axis. One could also say that they rotate from west to east. Venus and Uranus are the only planets that revolve around themselves from east to west. No one knows why. And that's not a drawback either. Because in our solar system, everything works out in spite of its special exceptions. Presumably, impacts of larger celestial bodies are responsible for these shifts. Whether the digression of the two in times long past has caused unrest in the system is not known. The Germans had nine worlds of gods. One of these is the world of the giants, Jotunheim. Recently, the Marvel Film Studios have revisited the original material of the Nordic legends of the gods and made the idea of the nine worlds popular again. Marvel's Jotunheim is the home of the ice giants. The heroes of Asgard are mostly not at peace with them, but sometimes they also cooperate. The light blue ice giant, Uranus, might be the actual cosmic equivalent of the ice world. The homeland of the heroes Thor and Odin would therefore be the neighboring Saturn, or Asgard. Please let us know which of these many characteristics and facts concerning Uranus were new to you, and which ones you already knew. Can you believe that thousands of years ago the Germanic tribes were aware of mysterious worlds on other planets? Let us know what you think, using the comment section as always.